Hi, good morning, good morning, good morning. If you're watching right now, good morning to you. Once again, sa mga kababayan ko dyan sa Pilipinas, banggadang umaga po sa inyong lahat at sa mga kasimuan mo ako dyan sa Iliilo, maayong aga sa inyong lahat. Yes, I have the same outfit because I'm shooting two videos today. I know it's been a while that I haven't, yeah, nabubulol na naman ako guys. I haven't uploaded videos because I've been really busy. That's why now I'm making two. Alrighty. Okay, so once again to all my subscribers, thank you so, so much. I know hindi pa kayo ganyan karami, pero thank you so, so much everyone. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscription button. Okay, thank you so much. So, this video is about what? Alright. This video is about getting to know myself. I've researched 10 questions that I will ask about myself. To so these questions, I haven't read them yet. I haven't practiced. Hindi ko pinag-isipan yung sagot. Ngayon ko palang babasahin at sasagutin. So, if you like these questions, you can also use this to yourself. But so far, I know I know myself. I know what I want in life. So, tingnan natin. Okay, let's start. Kasi medyo mahaba-haba to. I, I will try to answer it short, every question. And to the point. <laughs> okay, number one question. What about myself do I like most? Hmm. Okay, direct answer, my heart. As all of you know, I have a soft heart. Ay, hindi ko alam kung alam niyo yun. Pero kahit nandyan pa ako sa Pilipinas doon, marami nagsasabi na takot sila sa akin. Medyo maldita na yung mukha ko. <laughs> even, even my classmates here in Australia before, they used to tell me that they scared of me. But then, guys, it's just the face. But I have a soft heart. I easily forgive I can't really get upset for a long time, which is I'm very proud of. Hindi naman to the extent that they take advantage of. No, I will never allow someone to take advantage of me. Yeah? Alright, let's go to number two question. What aspects of my life do I wish to see a change in? Again, what aspects of my life do I wish to see a change in? Hmm, my career. So now I'm working in an educational industry. And in the future, I want I wanted to have my own business, like a childcare business, because I love being with children. It's my passion to be with them. I love nurturing them. I love making experience and memories with them. Um, I love being with them back then, even when I was in the field, even when I was very young. I've been with children already, so I love to have my own business so I can share to them my experience, what I've learned at school, what life teaches me. So yeah. Number three, what are my fears? <laughs> what are my fears? Um, not a lot, but my fear is losing a loved one. <laughs> losing a loved one, especially my family, especially those people who are very dear to me like my mom and dad so i and my sister wanted them to experience a good life is before at least you know they say bye bye to us so it's our goal and they're working on it that's my fear <laughs> only one and number four what i'm grateful for what am i grateful for I am grateful to our Almighty God because of His abundant blessings in my life. Not because of Him. If not because of Him, I'm, I'm not where I am right now. And yes, I'm grateful for my life. <laughs> I'm grateful for my health. I gr I'm grateful for everything that I have right now. People around me, I'm contented. So, mwah, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Number five questions. Question number five, not questions. Question number five. Am I happy doing what I'm currently doing? Am I happy doing what I'm currently doing? Yes, I do. I do, I do. I'm happy, I'm happy with, I'm doing, with, with what I'm doing right now. Yes. So, sabi nga nila, kung yung ginagawa mo, gustong gusto mo, syempre, masaya ka. So, kung hindi mo gusto, kung saan nga ngayon, hindi mo gusto yung ginagawa mo, 
ask yourself why you're still there or why you're still there in wherever you are <laughs> diba so magpakatotoo ka na okay number six number six what are the most important things i've learned in life what are the most important things i've learned in life wow medyo mahaba-haba ito number one I've learned the most important things. Yung pinaka-importante is I've learned that only God, only God Himself is the source of everything. Only Him that will never leave you nor abandon you in, in happiness or during your low moments, circumstances, he's always there. He's always willing to hold your hands and lift you up and carry you. He's the only reason why I'm still here. Dahil sa kanya, tumatag yung loob ko, siguro my foundations help me na maging matatag kahit anumang pagsubok sa buhay pag ang Panginoon na sa buhay mo you'll survive second second um, to be brave to be courageous to speak up especially kung nasa ibang bansa ka kailangan mo magpakatatag so a lot of my family members nung umuwi ako sinabi nila oy medyo nag change yung behavior mo I have to because I need to be strong. Sino yung walang mag, magtatanggol sa akin dito. I have to stand up for myself. Hindi naman pwede na umuwi ako sa bahay tapos magsumbong ako sa ate ko. Ate, ito nangyari sa akin. Nope. Sorry. You have to stand up for yourself. You have to learn. You have to. Pag alam mo na sa tama ka, stand up. Do not just shut your mouth. You have to open your mouth. But make sure that you're still being respectful, that you are honest what you're saying, and wala kang nasasakpan. All you wanted to do is to express what you're feeling inside, kung ano yung alam mong tama. Yeah? So, honesty is good. Okay? I don't, I, I hate lies. Okay, dokie. Let's go to seventh question now. Who inspires me the most and what is it that inspires me about them? <laughs> Again, who inspires me the most and what is it that inspires me about them? Number one, of course, I already answered it before. God Almighty is the most holy person that inspires me. Um, beginning the, the time that I was saved when I was seven, seven years old. Seven years old. Seven years old? Bawa nine years old. Nakalimutan ko. Basta between that, back then. So, I have this very important verse in my life that until now, it's still my favorite verse and I'm living through it. <laughs> Yan yung verse talaga na hindi ko makalimut kalimutan. So, yes. Secondly, my brother-in-law and my sister they inspires me the most. How? Because, alam you guys, itong dalawang taong to, even if they don't have something, they're very generous. Talagang magsishare, magsishare sila kahit. Back then, when I was back home, si kuya talaga napaka-generous. Siya pa ngayon nagbayad ng tuition fee ko. Tapos si ate, si ate din. So, they inspires me the most because kung ano yung gusto nila na maabot at kung oh, gusto nilang bilhin, for example, they work hard for it. They don't expect someone to get it for them. They work hard to get it. And they love families. Makapamilya talaga sila, guys. So, they inspire me the most. And then, number three, who inspires me the most, of course, my adorable fiance why kasi alam nyo he's not perfect no one is perfect but he t he taught me to be strong he taught me to be courageous he always pushed me even if i have limits i i am the person that i'm organized i always have limits in everything but 
He's the person who pushed me beyond my limits to do things that I have to do to survive in Australia. That's why I love him so much. He was there when I need him. He came at the right time. So, all I can say is I love you, babe. Thank you so much. I know you're watching right now. So, nako, nakikilig na ako. Kinikilig ba kayo? Kinikilig ako eh. Okay na. So, number eight questions, guys. How important is money to me? Hmm, I'm not gonna be a hypocrite, but yes, money. How important money is to me? Yes, it is important. One of the most important things in life. Kasi pag wala kang pera, paano ka makatulong? Paano ako makakatulong sa pamilya ko pag wala akong pera? Pag hindi ako nagtatrabaho? But, yes, everyone needs money. Paano sila makakain? Diba? It's one of the sources that we need. It's a one of the important sources na kailangan natin para mabuhay sa mundong ibabaw. But, you know, you should limit, like, don't be greedy. <laughs> I'm thankful kung ano man meron ako ngayon. So, thank you so much. I thank God for that. Okay? Number nine. Where do I see myself in 5, 10, and 20 years? So, simple. I've been, uh, I've been, um, you know, I already think about this when I was in uni back home. <laughs> Bata pa ako. So, syempre, magkapamilya. Magkaroon na ng dalawang anak. And I have my own business. Happily married. And raising kids. And may narating na ako sa buhay. Like, may sarili na akong business. Diba? ba? Para naman makatulong tayo sa buhay, alam mo naman, yung aim natin, bakit ng ibang bansa tayo, is to have a better future. Dala na doon lahat. Diba? Pamilya natin. Alright, let's go to number 10. Last question, you guys. Yes, medyo maikli lang video na ito. What do I believe in? Simple, and I answered this already. I answered this already before. I believe in God. I believe in God that He is the source of everything. And I'm very proud that I... I'm very proud to tell you that I love God and I'm so grateful that He came into my life. Because of Him, He changed me. Because of Him, I am where I am right now. Guys, you need to know that only God can change your heart. Whatever you do, wherever you go, always put Him first in your life. Okay? So, thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this is Milona, signing off. Mwah! Mabuhay!